Good morning, everyone. It's Johnny Judoka coming to you from a early Tuesday morning. Um, this past week has been a little bit of a challenge. Um, I have been trouble sleeping. Uh, if you can tell, I'm pretty tired right now. Uh, I was on my medication called Trazodone, and it wasn't helping me sleep even after taking like 300 milligrams of it and it was just not knocking me out. So my doctor changed my sleep medication to something called Lunesta and I've been taking that. I got about seven hours of sleep last night and so that was pretty okay, but I'm still really tired. I had a really interesting week last week. I was feeling really insecure about myself and found myself sexually attracted to uh, a male um, and I think the reason why I felt this attraction was not because necessarily I am gay or bisexual or even demi-romantic. It was because he made me feel safe. And I don't have like a lot of opportunities to feel safe uh, with people. Uh, it's, it's very difficult for me to feel safe with other people. And uh, I was just feeling really insecure. So I talked to my therapist and we mentioned, I mentioned to her all these things I'm worried about, about being single, about not being independent, about religious trauma, about sexual trauma, about relational trauma. Um, and she said that she noticed that I'm just bouncing around between these different, you know, colored topics uh, that are making me, that are influencing my emotions a lot. And I realized that I have not been as positive as I would like to be. Uh, I'm generally a positive person, um, but I haven't been using my affirmations, using my, you know, truth statements to uh, acknowledge the fact that I'm doing actually really, really well in my life. Um, so after my therapy session, I wrote down all the things that I all the beliefs I had that make me feel insecure and then I countered them with facts. So after doing all that, I realized that I'm in control of my own happiness. Um, and I, I remember making a video, uh, a vlog, talking about, you know, will I ever be happy? And I really believe now, now that I've lived it, I that happiness is a choice. Granted, if you're on antidepressant meds and is having struggles struggles with uh, your medications, you know, take your meds and go see your doctor. But if you're able to have some happiness outside of that, uh, it's important that you, oh gosh, sorry. It's important that you uh, live your happiness out. It's important that you live your happiness out and um, take ownership for your, how you're feeling because no one can take care of your emotions by yourself. So I just wanted to make this video, letting you all know that I'm doing better. Uh, sorry for the lack of uploads. I hope that you guys like the podcast. Um, I'm gonna be making a video soon about OCD. And uh, probably try to figure out some ideas for, to, to grow the channel. If you guys have any ideas on what you would like to see in the video, please let me know. But uh, I appreciate y'all being patient with me and uh, sticking with my schedule as I'm transitioning into feeling better with the ECT and everything. So uh, thank you so much uh, for all the support and I'll see you guys in the next video.